This video explains how to calculate the mean value of the rows and columns of a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have created a data frame containing seven rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. So let's assume that we want to calculate the mean value of all the columns in our data frame. Then we can apply the mean function, as you can see in the next line of code. And I'm applying this mean function to all the columns of our data frame. And then I'm using the print function to return the output below the code box. So after running this line of code, you can see below the code box that the mean values of our data frame columns x1, x2 and x3 are returned. So for instance, the mean of the first column x1 is equal to 5.857. We can also calculate the mean values of all the rows in our data set using the axis argument within the mean function. And in order to calculate the mean value by row, we need to set the axis argument to be equal to one. And then once again, I'm using the mean function and the print function to return the output below the code box. And then you can see that we have calculated the mean value for each of the rows in our data set. So for instance, the mean of the first row is equal to six. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.